It has haunted British hospitals for years, but now another strain of MRSA is spreading in the Netherlands, and it is closely related to our insatiable appetite for cheap meat. The ecologist visited the Netherlands with the Soil Association to find out more. The Netherlands has more farm animals per square kilometre than any other country on the planet. And between 30 and 50% of farmers in the Netherlands carry MRSA. Willy Bice is a vet based near Eindhoven. Nou, in die zin, uh, je moet hier echt er wel zorgen over maken, want uh, vandaag of morgen dan kom ik hier in een, in een ziekenhuis terecht en dan, uh, uh, ja, dan wil je wel graag geholpen worden en als niet geholpen kan worden, dan is dat een probleem. Plus, uh, je kan het ook gaan besmetten naar andere mensen, naar andere dieren. Ja. Dus in feite is daar iets om zorgen over te maken. MRSA is a deadly bacteria. It frequently causes pneumonia, bone infections and endocarditis in the most vulnerable members of society. So if you're carrying an MRSA, you have a higher risk of getting an MRSA infection. And an MRSA infection is much more difficult to treat. What we see here in our region is that we have a, a rise of MRSA positive patients. Um, and that uh, we, we go from an average of 40 or 50 MRSA positive patients in this entire region a year to last year 224. And about 60% of those are animal related MRSA. Research shows that the rise in MRSA bacteria from farms is no coincidence. That the cyclins, more or less all over the world, it's one of the most used antibiotics in animal production. Also, the typical feature of the animal-derived MRSA that we this, this this clone that is spreading in in animals now is that it's always tetracycline resistant. Tetracyclines are the most used antibiotics. And so it's, it's likely, we don't know that for sure yet, but it's quite likely that this usage of tetracyclines is one of the reasons that these MRSA are so com commonly present. Over half a million kilos of antibiotics are used in the Netherlands to treat livestock every year. Female pigs are given the drugs an average of twice per month. And campaigners claim that the excessive use of antibiotics is closely related to the conditions on the farm themselves. They are so stressed and so um, bored that uh, they get sick. Their physical uh, health is suffering from their living conditions. And the only solution that farmers see is to put more antibiotics instead of changing those living, living conditions. And what you see in the Netherlands is a tendency that farms get more intense, that they get larger, that uh, a farmer has less time to spend with individual animals and that they use antibiotics as a treatment for animals to prevent from getting sick. Hans Donkers has seen both sides of the argument. After a disease outbreak, he converted his farm to organic status, a practice that forbids the widespread use of antibiotics. Uh, the pigs have more natural resistance and um, what I do different as before, I um, separate a pig first so he can rest and uh, recover uh, better. What I also do is um, uh, use herbs to treat a pig and, uh, before I uh, use anti antibiotics. Uh, the pigs are um, healthier, they uh, have less stress and uh, also um, the bill of the fat is uh, very, uh, very little. The pig industry, however, disagrees. Op emotionele gronden wordt er geroepen door een aantal organisaties die de varkenshouderij liever zien te verdwijnen uit Nederland. Van ja, groot is per definitie ongezond, maar dat is onzin. Ja, omdat je spreekt over uh, ja, toch relatief grote aantallen dieren, zeker bij varkens. Uh, ja, uh, als dieren ziek zijn en als ze behandeld moeten worden, ja, dan zie je toch ook uh, heel snel dat er uh, veel kilogram uh, antibiotica ingezet moeten worden. En daar schrikken uh, varkenshouders van en ook de buitenwacht schrikt daarvan. Want ja, veel dieren betekent uh, dat, dat, dat je toch veel medicijnen moet gebruiken. De pork industry has a lot to lose. 
The Netherlands exports over a million tons of factory farmed pork abroad every year and it is an industry worth in excess of 2 billion euros to the rural economy. What we see is that animal health and the use of antibiotics in farming is the domain of the Minister of Agriculture. And from our experience, the Minister of Agriculture is more acting like a marketing manager of the meat industry. And that's what worries us more and more, because the, the marketing of meat is, a, is conflicting with what we need for a sustainable agriculture and a better treatment of animals. 12% of the pork consumed in the UK comes from Dutch farms and evidence suggests that as much as 10% of that meat carries MRSA bacteria. It is rapidly becoming a global problem. Outbreaks of MRSA in pigs, turkeys, poultry and cattle have also been recorded in Austria, Belgium, Canada, Denmark, Germany, Singapore, the USA and Spain. Scientists at the European Food Standards Agency have said that it seems likely that MRSA ST398 is widespread, most likely in all member states with intensive animal production. In the UK, however, campaigners claim that the British government has actively sought to play down suggestions of the links between superbugs and intensive farming systems. The government has to wake up and start looking after the interests of ordinary people and not just the intensive livestock industry and the multinational drug companies. And it's simply not acceptable to allow methods of food production which take away one of the biggest advances in medical science ever and that's our ability to treat and cure serious infections in the human population. And I'm afraid we're sitting on a really serious time bomb here which most people simply know nothing about.